watching AFC RD TV, and for the Saturday afternoon, it finishes AFC Russian Diamonds nil, Anstey Nomads three. I'm with the manager, Michael Harriman. Michael, during the course of the season, you have peaks and valleys. Monday was a peak. Valley though, today Saturday, a valley. Yeah, definitely. That's the beauty of football groups. I mean. As they say, don't get too over the highs, too over the lows. But look, it's, it's a disappointing afternoon for sure, especially how we were in the first half. And I think that first 15 minutes of second half, we've, we've just let ourselves down a little bit. And yeah, that was the difference in the end. I thought Diamonds really deserved a lot better today. Yeah, based on our first half against the wind, against the elements, we, we battled really hard. And we did say at half time it, it should be a different game. The second half, we with the wind, with will be in the ascendancy but look when you're given them opportunities you're getting a team that are second in the league for a reason throw into the game you, you're gonna face tough moments and unfortunately we did that and we got punished for it yeah the uh, first goal of the match uh, coming only two minutes into the second half uh, and a goal uh, scores sort of a fluky goal uh, that was a, a tough way to give up a goal there and then only three minutes later a penalty yeah, we said at half time, we said the only way these guys look like they're going to score at the moment is if it comes from us, and I think it is. I think it's a bit of a lack of communication from across between the back four and Tegs, but um, it's, it's all a learning curve, they'll learn from it. And yeah, we just said, and then to concede a couple of minutes after, it's frustrating as well because we've got a little bit about us that happens to us at times. We can see we go a bit frantic for a few minutes and we end up conceding again. But, We've got three big games now. We need to. We just need to focus now on the job at hand and just work hard for each other. Sure. Uh, yeah. In the blink of an eye, from nil nil. The next thing you look up, and the scoreboard says two nil. And then uh, nine minutes later, Tariq Dallas adjudged uh, for a handball. That was a bit of a harsh call there for another penalty, and it's uh, Blake uh, with another PK. Tough to take. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and word what I say carefully about that decision because when it's looked back, I want to know what the justification was for it. I think the lad's getting out of the way, he's not playing any involvement and the ball's just booted at him from a yard. I think, to be honest, yeah, I think it's, it's not the greatest decision. I think they'll probably, we'll probably get some sort of apology during the week. But look, at the end of the day, it's not good enough. And unfortunately, it's, it's, it's been happening a bit too often to us this year. Maybe that's because we're down by the bottom and you don't get that rub of the green, but look, can't blame on that. We're already 2 0 down at that point, but it's just frustrating. It sucks the life out of your boys, and yeah, it's frustrating. So, uh, Diamonds, though, you did go with a, uh, the same starting 11 as last Monday. Uh, maybe, like I mentioned the other day, an easy decision to make. 100%. The boys were fantastic Monday, obviously, at Harbour, so we rewarded them with that. But, like I said, it now opens, you know, opens the feet, opens up doors for boys to come in. We picked up a few little knots. At half time, we were assessing a few players and made decisions to bring them off. We've got three big games, we need everyone. So, but like I said, we've got three big games. Let's focus on them now and look forward and let's just give it our best shot. For your subs on the bench, I guess begrudgingly, you had to uh, pull Tom Lorraine off the bench and put in Luke Emery. So, it's good to see Luke back in the squad. Yeah, obviously, we've got Luke some minutes on Thursday in the, the cup game, which was brilliant to have him back in the building. Obviously, still trying to get squad, we need the squad, this is the squad that's going to give us this big push last three games, so we're going to need everyone, and yeah, it's frustrating today, but we'll, we'll roll on to next week and get ready to enjoy it. Yeah, the wind is still swirling around us, that's the door you hear in the background with that sound. Uh, yeah, uh, Diamond's really, uh, we still control our own destiny with three huge games, even uh, the scored, uh, it might even go down to uh, the goal difference, goal scored. I'm not even sure what the third tiebreaker is, but uh, wow, it, it'll be an exciting finish. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be an exciting finish. The boys have been fantastic. fantastic. They've given themselves a chance to be in the mix. If you look where we was a month or so ago, we were definitely miles off it, so the boys have been fantastic. And uh, we can only just do what we can do. That's all we, we, have, we can't worry about the others. We just need to go and put the ball in the net, stop goals at other ends, and go and win games. And Next is uh, Bolt Beer and St. Michael's. Way though, that'll be another challenge. Yeah, but we've got to be up for the challenge now. If you've got three crunch games, if you can't get up for it now, when are you going to get up for it? You're in the mix of a battle that realistically probably a couple of wins could, could do it for us, so we're going to have to go to the drawing board and work hard and bring everything we've got. So obviously the belief is still there. Has to be, and I think it's not because 
look where we've come from in such a short space of time. These boys have shown that they're fantastic, they're a good group, they're an honest group and they'll work hard. And that's, look, as long as we do that for the next three games, the outcomes will be out the outcomes. But as long as we stay true to what we believe in as a squad and a group, then we'll, we'll, we'll give it our best shot. All right, thank you, Michael. No problem, thank you. Fraser, thanks for joining us after a 3-0 defeat today. Where do you think things went wrong this afternoon? Um, it was just a sloppy 15, 20 minutes second half. I don't know if it was tiredness after sort of a tough run of fixtures or what, but yeah, that, that 15 minutes really killed us and killed off the game. What do you think it was about that first 15 minutes where things just seemed to go against us? Because we've conceded three goals, as you say, within a quarter of an hour. We've, we've come in at half time 0 0, come out for the second half with the win going the way we wanted it to. Yeah, obviously after sort of a positive first half against the wins, you know, we did what we needed to, kept it in nil nil, but for whatever reason we um, we couldn't capitalise on that. For the second and third goals, yeah. Jacob a judge to have tripped his man, and then for the, uh, the second penalty, Giles' clearance hitting the arm of Tariq. What did you make of those two decisions in particular? Um, the first one, I think, you know, he's given the ref the decision to make, and on balance, you know, we'd be shouting for that as a pen, so probably was, but yeah, the second one was something completely strange, and I, I don't know either way. Obviously, it has hit his hand, and his hands are up, but away from them so and to be honest none of their uh, players were appealing for anything so you know the rest of it off his own back and uh, that's the way it's gone. Okay, Getting to this game with the same start as the hard on my day. Was it a similar game plan as well that you intended to execute? Yeah I think obviously they're up there with Harbour as one of the best teams in the league over this season so um super hoping we could do do the same to them as we did it against Harbour. I think they it around a bit more than Harborough, but yeah, I think the tactics were pretty much the same. But unfortunately, you know, second half we let ourselves down, whereas second half against Harbour we, um, we held firm. And you've played off the right wing in the last couple of games, not your strongest position, but how do you find that role and what is it that you're asked to do in that position? Yeah, obviously, uh, Cairo's been there sort of a few weeks previous, but you know. I'm not blessed with pace like Kyra, so I've just sort of aimed to, you know, stay inside a little bit more and, you know, getting the ball and the drop downs in there, almost to play number you know, two in, inside there. So it's something I'm trying to learn quite quickly, but yeah, if I'm asked to play there, I'm happy to do it. It's still very tight with the bottom three, just one point separating ourselves and rugby and Gresley. We find ourselves 19th half today, so back inside the bottom two, but still very close and still to play for. Yeah, obviously. Um, Results elsewhere didn't go our way today, but um, as I said before, before the game, we can't get out, you know, can't stay safe. Uh, sort of game so it's three big games to go, and then we just have to see where that takes them. Three games to go, as you say, starting with the trip to Bodmere next week, and I know you certainly had a good night when playing against them earlier in the season. I'm sure as a team, you're looking to bounce back strong. Yeah, yeah, we are, obviously, you know, we want to pick up another three points. Sort of from the running we had, um, one of the more favourable games, and I think the last three are ones we look at where we can get all three points in all of those. And obviously, you'll remember that game against Boldmere, probably your hat trick. But what are your recollections of Boldmere? What do you know about them, and, and what sort of challenge are you expect to face? Yeah, obviously, we got the three points on the night, but we did we did concede two, so they you know they were still a decent side. I'm not sure what their result was today. Um, I think they won today. Did they win today? So you know they'll be on. On a high, and we we have to go, you know, pick our wounds from today and, and really knuckle down. Thanks, you time, That's all right.